How you doing guys? Uh, it's Javier with Zarkport and today we're going to be installing the closure door window kit. I've got my friend here, Don Hay. Nice to meet you. Hey. Javier. And uh, today we're going to be taking this window out and installing our closure door window kit. So first we will be gathering all of our materials. We've uh, got the instructions here laid out. So the very first thing we're going to get everything together and um, that's going to include your replacement glass that's included with your kit. A plastic and putty knife you'll be providing. Weather stripping we've included in the kit. The uh, duct tape um, and glass cleaner you'll also be providing. Now we have, we will need to remove the frame so we did include uh, 16 clips that that are needed to remove that frame. Alright so the first step that we're going to do with the window is actually going to be to tape the outside of this window in order to keep the outer frame from being pushed out. So I'm going to have um, Jesse here He's going to put four strips of tape on the outer portion of this window. So what we want to do is we want to tape the frame and the, uh, the outer portion of the door together to keep them from being pushed out. All right. and once we have that done, we've got the outer frame nice and tight up against the door and uh, we can then move on to the next step in order to remove the glass. All right, for our next step, we will be inserting the clips in order to remove this inner frame. Now there are 16 clips that we've provided for you and you're gonna need to find, locate the slots and on the instructions, we do put a general diagram of where those slots are located. Um, and now, for some of the doors, if you've got an electronic lock, you may need to remove the electronic lock to be able to locate one of those clip positions. So we're going to now go around each one of these and locate the slot and place the, the plastic clip in each one of these slots. You will hear a click, and that is the the inner frame separating from the outer frame. Now, we're not going to push these in all the way until we have all of the clips in place. removing this lock in order to access this last clip position. Alright, and we're simply going to disconnect the lock just like that and set it off to the side. Okay, so we're going to put the last clip in place. Alright, now we can begin to separate the inner frame from from the rest. Now you may need to pull the clips in and out in order to to reset and separate the frame. Okay, now that we've carefully removed the frame, you can see that we we just need to take this frosted glass out. Now on the inside edge, 
you will need to use that putty knife to be able to separate that glass. So what you're going to do is you're going to carefully insert the putty knife between the glass and the outer frame and begin to separate it. I'm going to run the putty knife all the way around and separate the glass. Now you may have another person help you to uh, keep that glass from falling. We've separated the, the uh, weather stripping from that frosted glass. We're just going to carefully remove that glass. Okay, so now that we've removed that glass, we are going to put the uh, weather seal so that we don't have any leaks once we install the new glass. And so we're going to take our um, beaded weather stripping and we're going to run it all the way along the inside edge here where the glass will sit against that outer, outer frame. Once we have the weather stripping set up on that inside edge, we're going to set our tinted glass. Okay, and this is where you're going to need to press that glass against the frame. And you may need another person to, to help you press that in. You want it nice and tight against that, that outer frame. I'm pressing on both sides, going all the way around the entire window frame. All right, once we have the glass in place, and the weather stripping is sealing the glass against the outer frame. We're going to now put the inner frame back in place. Now we're ready to put the inner frame back in place. Now, just like with the 16 clips, we're going to carefully start at one, one end and work our way around. Now, you want to gently push the frame back in place. Have someone back here holding the outer frame we're just going to gently push along the inner frame until we don't hear any clicks Okay, so we're just going to be removing the red liner. We're going to be installing our, our closure shutter. And so you're just going to peel the red liner off of each one of these and remove, uh, remove that liner so you can stick the shutter onto the window. All right, so we're going to be installing the shutter now that we've removed the red liners. Uh, we will put the paint side on the right side of the door here and we're just gonna sit it on top of the inner frame and push it back against the glass and we're gonna press where the Velcro is located. I wanna stick it onto that, onto that glass. Now, provided with your kit, we have provided a drill bit and a couple of uh, screws and shoulder washers. 
and we'll also provide a drill hole guide. Now, where we used the, uh, the clips, we're going to mark a hole using that drill hole guide. We're going to insert it into one of those positions down here. And we're going to mark it. And we're going to find the next one, insert it, and mark for your drill. We provided the, the uh, 3 16 bit that you will need in order to drill this, this out. And you're going to just drill two holes right there. And that's going to be for your, your uh, screws and shoulder washers for your handle. So for electronic locks, we will need to reinstall our electronic lock, put it back in place in order to position our handle. Okay, so now that we've positioned our lock back in place, we can now position our handle. We're gonna, we're gonna run our handle to where it comes right next to your electronic lock. Okay, and we're gonna find the midpoint of each one of these slots. And we're gonna mark the midpoint Now we do have a modified drill hole guide and we're simply going to place it where you mark that midpoint and remark your your drill holes. Okay? So now I have my two drill holes and that's where I will drill to position the the handle. So now now that we've got our our two holes marked, we are ready to drill. Now we're just going to carefully just puncture the inside of the door and it is just a very, very light press. Okay, we've got our two small holes right there. And we're ready to position our handle. Now we're gonna take the, the screw and shoulder washer and we're gonna hand drive it into each one of those holes. Now it's very important that we don't over tighten. So we're just gonna gently, gently hand drive it into the door. Now if you don't have free movement, you can loosen that and back out a little bit and now we're going to put our shutter all the way over to the right and the the velcro should line up with the handle and attach directly onto the shutter we're going to press against that velcro and we should be able to open and close it as a reminder, when we are through pushing on the glass and on the frames, you can you can take that duct tape off. All right, so we are almost all the way through with our insulation. The only thing that you're gonna do is you're just gonna see that it open and closes properly. We're gonna place the little white caps over the screws. check to see that we have access to it behind the screen door. Now you can see out 
close it for privacy, and you're all set.